welcome back to Roar 360 News. I'm Allison, and today we have a very special guest, Lauren Froderman. So I think at this point, most people know that uh, you are the girl who won So You Think You Can Dance on campus. <laughs> so just to get that out of the way, how did it feel to win? Um, it was crazy. I did not expect it um, at all. There was a, the, the male counterpart of mine that um, I partnered with a lot. Uh, I really thought he was going to win. I, I, we both did. We both thought he was going to win. <laughs> so it was like a little weird uh, when they actually said my name. I was not expecting it and um, I still kind of don't. I still feel like he won <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, what kind of opportunities arose as a result? Well, what's so fantastic about the show for a dancer is you get to know like the choreographers that are coming onto the show are choreographers that are working in the industry. So if you get, if you work hard while you're on the show and if you get a good rapport with them, then like they're going to contact you for jobs. Like you're going to, they're going to think of you when um, they want to, you know, they need to book someone for something. So that was really great. I, I got a lot of jobs through my, you know, connections with them, but it, it's not like you win the show and then people are like, oh, you don't have to audition anymore. Just come right in. It, yeah. It's not like that. Like yeah. I still like, I, I audition and. I'm just like any other dancer. What's been your favorite dance job that you've had since the show? Um, well, okay, so I don't know if it's since the show technically, but after the show we did go on tour mm -hmm. and that's by far been my favorite dancing experience of all. Like uh, it was absolutely amazing. I'm personally have a little bit of ADD, so it was fun <laughs> getting to like wake up in a new city every day and like yeah. perform for different audiences and uh -huh. definitely right when I graduate that's I want to tour again. Like that's a big goal. Um, so, how do you balance this life as a professional dancer in school? Well, unfortunately, since I'm a full-time student, mm -hmm. I have to make a lot of sacrifices in my dance career um, as of right now, but I know it's worth it because in the end I'm going to be able to have my degree and be able to dance professionally. So, right now, mostly I'm limited to like performances mm -hmm. or teaching jobs and then like during breaks, like summer and winter, I'm able to still go on auditions and um, book a few jobs here and there if they're like small time commitments. It's pretty cool. It seems like you've kind of had life set up for you almost by winning the show and mm -hmm. by getting all these connections with mm -hmm. amazing choreographers. So why come to college? I mean, I love dance and it, it fuels who I am. It fuels my soul, but um, intellectually, I, it doesn't stimulate me. Mm -hmm. I, I, I feel like there's always something more that I could be doing. And that's just, I think, I'm just a very ambitious person and both of my parents are extremely hardworking and passionate people. So it just kind of is in my blood to always want more. Um, and so I really wanted to get my degree. Both of my parents have their college degrees. Um, it was just really important to me. And that's honestly very uncommon for a dancer. Most mm -hmm, dancers right. are like, if they make it in the industry, then they're like, good, I didn't like school yeah. anyway. Yeah. But I love school. I'm a nerd. I love learning and I love being able to discover new things. So dance, you know, has been a constant in my life since I was three years old and I'm 22 now. So as much as I love it and I need it in my life, I don't necessarily uh, feel like I, I am learning new things all the yeah. time with it. Mm -hmm. I, of course, there's still there's always room to grow right. but um, yeah school is a whole different jungle and I love it you seem like this person who just kind of like has stuff together and I know that Thanks. like not everybody has stuff together but no, thank you so far like what's your secret <laughs> oh man okay so I don't know if it's a secret I think pretty much everybody says it and it's kind of cliche but uh, you just have to focus on yourself and it's not selfish to be focused on what makes you happy. Um, that's honestly the key to living a full life. You have to know like, okay, like how do I improve myself and what can I be doing that's going to make um, me and only me happy about what's going on in my life. So, and you know, fortunately I'm, a, I'm the type of person where what makes me happy is making other people happy. Yeah. So, you know, everybody wins. Yeah. But like, I think the secret to life is just focusing on yourself in not a selfish way, but just knowing like what's going to truly make you happy at the end of the day. Cause that's all you have. And that's all you're responsible for at the end of the day. Oh, that's awesome. Well, Thanks. thank you for being here. Yeah. You're super fun to talk to. Absolutely I awesome. Really thank you. It. I appreciate the sympathy last. Good. You're the best. Uh, <laughs> not sympathy oh, Okay, good. Yes. Okay, good. All right. I'm Allison. This is Lauren, and that was Roar360 News.